There are two steps we have to take every time we graph a polar curve. The first is to find our theta interval, and the second is to use it to find polar points that satisfy the curve. So our first step is to set the argument of the trig function equal to pi over two, and then solve for theta. We use pi over two because that's the value that'll make it easiest to find points that the curve passes through. So for this first curve, that means setting theta equal to pi over two. For this second curve, that means setting two theta equal to pi over two to get theta equals pi over four. Then the second step is to plug multiples of theta into the polar curve to find corresponding values of r. For this first curve, multiples of pi over two are zero pi over two, pi, three pi over two, et cetera. And for this second curve, multiples of pi over four are zero pi over four, pi over two, et cetera. And when we plug all these theta values into the polar curves we started with, we get corresponding values of r for each curve. And these then become the polar coordinate points that we can plot in order to sketch the graphs of these polar curves.